Hi Kindergarten, it's Mrs. Waco and today is Fun Friday. So for today, I thought we would bake strawberry shortcakes, all right? Because this is a great dessert to have in the summer, in the springtime, and it's been really summery lately, really warm, and strawberries are everywhere and they're super fresh and really yummy. So let me get the, um, our ingredient list. Okay, here it is. These are the items that you need to gather. All right, so we're going to need about two cups of strawberries. We're going to need to slice them. So I'll go over that with you, and they have to be washed. We also need um, a half a cup of sugar for the strawberries. And we're going to sweeten these strawberries, and we need a bowl that's just for the strawberries. Okay, so a medium sized bowl. Um, and let's see. Um, we need, oh, and so the strawberries, I'm just using one of these containers of strawberries, okay? That's about two cups. We need flour, we need sugar, we need uh, baking powder, salt, milk, whole milk if you have it, or 2%, all right? We need to have a little fat in there. It can't be non-fat milk. Um, what else? And we need, oh, we need butter, unsalted butter that we're going to melt. So, um, and if you don't have access to something to melt your butter, you can melt butter uh, in the microwave um, or on the stove, but you need to have an adult with you. And if that doesn't work, then we just need to let that butter sit out, maybe put it next to the warming oven, okay? And your oven with an adult, have you turn that oven on to 450 degrees. It's going to be hot, okay? And let's see what else do we need. So I told you we need one bowl for the strawberries. We need another bowl for our shortcake, okay? Because we're going to make little shortcakes. And we need a whisk to whisk up our dry ingredients. And then we'll need a spoon to stir up those dry ingredients. And a rolling pin. Okay, so we need a rolling pin. That's one of these. Okay, we're going to roll out our shortcake dough. We also need a cookie tin, all right, because we're going to bake those um, sugar, <laughs> those um, what shortcakes <laughs> on the tin. And we're going to cut these shortcakes out into circles. So we need a circular three inch, about three inch, um, maybe a little bit bigger, three and a half, three inch uh, circular cookie cutter. And if you don't have one of those, a glass. So let me show you. So this is my cookie cutter, okay? But if I didn't have one of these, I'll tell you what else I could use. Very clever. A drinking glass. See? It's about the same size. Okay? So, you're going to get a tape measure, I guess, if you don't have one of these, and measure your drinking glasses, right? You see if you have one that has an opening that's about three inches. Okay? And we're going to use this to, to cut our dough to make um, our little perfect circles for our shortcakes. Okay, and let's see, what else do we need? Um, oh, okay. So like I said, we're going to roll our dough out, and we need to roll it on a floured surface. So it could be your tabletop, clean, <laughs> if your parents don't mind you rolling dough on your tabletop. A lot of you have granite counters. Um, that's great for doing that. If not, a big wooden cutting board is is really good but it has to be pretty big so like you're gonna want it probably maybe the size of two notebooks okay so pretty big that you can roll out your dough and then um when we're all done with our shortcakes and um, our strawberries we get to top them and a lot of times people will top strawberry shortcake with whipped cream 
or vanilla ice cream or even vanilla yogurt okay it's up to you um, you can use whipped cream from a can um, or you can make your own whipped cream I'm not going to do that in this video though all right um, I think that your parents will know they want to just use whipped cream from a, a can like this strawberries perfect <laughs> okay um, let's put that back in there just keep it cold oh the other thing that's really good on strawberry shortcake is cool whip that's the other thing that you can buy at the store okay so here's the list again all right and also I just want to let you know that I I cut my recipe in half so we don't have a whole lot of the stuff but you can double it if you really like it you can double this recipe and make twice as many uh, strawberry shortcakes, <laughs> okay? All right, so um, go get your, or you can pause the video and go get all your ingredients, all right? I'm going to start now showing you how we're going to cut up our strawberries, all right? So I've got my strawberries. Oops, grabbing the cutting board. And for cutting up your strawberries, I'm going to want a knife. All right. Not a super sharp knife, but it has to have a little bit of edges. I think I showed you this, this knife before. Okay. It was one of my daughter's knives when she was probably around your age. Actually, probably even younger. All right. So, for our strawberries, we're going to take off this little green top. All right. So, we're just going to cut it off to my board. Okay, and I'm just going to cut off those little green things, put that to the side. I'm going to flip my strawberry over so it stands nice and tall. I'm just going to cut it in quarters. That means I'm going to cut them in four spots, once across this way and then once this way. And now I have four pieces for four quarters, all right? And then I'm just going to put these in my bowl I have for my strawberries. Right now I'm just putting them in glass bowl. See I already got started with my strawberries because I have a lot. But I'm going to get another one, show you again. All right, so we're going to cut off a little green top. Then we're going to slice it twice. Okay, and then it goes the bowl. All righty, and these I can just put I can put those in the, the compost. Well, many years ago I had a rabbit and my rabbit loved strawberry tops. She loved them so much and my dog got so jealous that he wanted to eat these. He doesn't like them anymore. Um, but the, the rabbit loved these. Anyways, those are going into the compost so they don't have rabbit anymore. Next thing we're gonna do, I'm gonna put that away. We have all of our strawberries in a big bowl, all right, all cut up and quartered. We're going to add, we're going to add a half a cup of sugar to this bowl, okay? My half cup measure and my sugar. And let's see. This is going to make a really nice um, strawberry sauce, okay? But we don't. We want to make sure we have the right amount of sugar. So again, it's kind of right and over my cup. So I'm just going to scrape off the excess, and I'm just going to sprinkle that all into my strawberries, okay? Putting my sugar away, but not away away. I'm still going to need it for my shortcakes, <clears throat> okay? So my sugar now is in this, this bowl, and I'm going to stir it up because I want to get all of this sugar kind of mixed in with my strawberries. And we don't have to do a lot of mixing. We're just going to kind of stir it around so all the strawberries are coated with some sugar. And 
we're just going to put this we're just going to put this aside and, and wait. Um, by the time we're done with our shortcakes, we're going to have a nice strawberry sauce. And what happens is the strawberry seems to pull out the juice from the strawberries and makes a nice syrup. Okay, it's really yummy and it's going to be really pretty and it stains your clothes, so be careful. <laughs> okay? All right, so we're just going to take this and we're going to put it aside and leave it on the table while we're making our, our shortcakes. Okay, so the next thing on our list for the shortcakes, another bowl. Okay, my bowl. And we need one cup of flour. Ready? So, let's see. My one cup measure, my flour, and we'll do the same thing, right? Okay, let's see. Oh, that's my spray. There's my measuring cup. Here it is. <laughs> All right. So, get a cup of flour in here. Ooh. There we go. Oops. And my little scraper. There we go. Into the bowl. Okay, my bowl. And we're going to need this flour. We're going to need more flour later on for when we roll our dough out. So um, you can put your flour away, but not away, away to the other end of their table. Okay. What else do we need? Let's see. Ah, a tablespoon of sugar. So remember I told you not to put your sugar too far away because it's back. All right. A tablespoon of sugar. Get my tablespoon. And Pour it over my other container, not over my bowl. My bowl is over here. Here's my sugar. Scrape that off. And now it goes into my bowl. Okay. Now I can put my sugar away. Away, away. <laughs> and I'm going to move it to a different counter. All right. I'm back. Next thing we need. Is. I should have my list closer to me so I can see it. Let's see. Um, we need one and a half teaspoons of baking powder. Okay, my baking powder. So, should have had things closer. All right, here's my one teaspoon. This calls for a lot of baking powder. Okay, scrape them up top, one teaspoon into this bowl, okay, one and a half I said, so I need to get a little smaller one, see the difference, here's the big one, here's the small one, the small one fit right in the big one, so, scrape that off, and a half, all right, put that away, next thing we need is a half a teaspoon of salt. So, again, I've got my other measuring cup. Here's my half a teaspoon. I'm going to pour my salt carefully, all right, over this, not the bowl, not this one, but my measuring cup over here, okay? All right. There we go. And a half a teaspoon of salt goes in there. Next we need, after the salt, we need our milk. And what did I say? We need a quarter cup of milk plus two tablespoons of milk. All right. So my milk is in my fridge. Right. Oh. Quarter cup of milk. And I have this measuring cup. I'm going to pour it 
quarter, right to the quarter cup, right down here, the quarter cup line. Okay. I need to put it on the table so I can see what I'm doing. All right. Let's see. Here we go. Quarter cup. All right. I'm going to pour that. Actually, no, I'm not. First thing I want to do is a lot of times um, it's helpful when you have your dry ingredients in a bowl and you're going to add other stuff to it, wet ingredients, it's a good idea to stir your dry ingredients around so everything mixes really easily together before you put in your wet ingredients. I almost forgot. That's why I wanted the whisk. The whisk is so, there we go, I could stir these all up. So now we know, I know that my flour, my sugar, my salt, and my baking powder are mixed up really well. Alrighty, there we go. Now I can add my wet ingredients, which the milk, so a quarter, a quarter of a cup goes into my bowl, plus two tablespoons. So I have my tablespoon, and I'm going to pour it not over my big bowl, but over the, the cup I had before, just in case I spill. All right, that's one tablespoon and two tablespoons. Okay, there we go. Now I said we had more wet ingredients, right? Well, if you look up the list, I don't see a wet ingredient, but I see butter. So we need to add two and a half tablespoons of butter. We need to melt it. So I'm actually going to melt it in my glass jar here because this one um, is safe for the heat. It's Pyrex. So on the side of the butter, remember I told you last time, it's marked with tablespoon measurements. So we're going to cut, all right, probably with our strawberry knife, we could use um, two tablespoons See it over here, whoops, one, two, and then probably just maybe halfway in between the two and the three, okay? So did you get your butter cut into a cube, all right? Here's mine, and I put it in a heat-safe glass, and I'm going to microwave it to melt it. Now the trick with this is you need to have a grown-up with you. To work your microwave to melt your butter. Alrighty? And my microwave is going to be different than your microwave, but I'll show you mine anyways. Alright, let's see if we can see it over here. Mm, here it is. So my microwave has different settings, and my microwave it runs pretty hot. So I'm not going to put this on high because it would just basically probably <laughs> explode, um, sending butter everywhere into my microwave, which would not be fun to clean up. So I'm going to do it low, but I just want to melt it, I'm putting it in there, and I'm going to put it on 30 seconds. I'm going to put it on kind of low, like on three, and see what happens. And I stand away from it. I don't stay by my microwave, all right? That's not safe. So we stay away from it, and we'll see what happens, okay? Right. I'll be back in a second. Okay, I'm back. I have my butter melted. I hope yours melted with no problems, <laughs> okay? Um, because often the microwave, if it's too hot, kaboom! So you have to do it really gradual, and it's okay if there's a little bit of um, solid butter in your container, because it'll melt when we get it into our bowl. So, speaking of which, our bowl. Okay, my bowl has the milk in there and the other dry ingredients. I'm going to pour my butter in. Okay, there. And now I'm going to stir this up. Stir it slowly, okay, so it doesn't go all out the sides, all right, because that flour has, has a way of popping out of the bowl. So we're going to stir this just so it's blended, okay, which means the, there's not a lot of dry left. It's kind of mixed in with the wet, okay, 
I don't know if you remember when we did the twisters, it's going to kind of look like that. And see how it's kind of forming a ball in here? All right. Okay, so when we get all of that stuck together, see? Okay. All right. Just going to stir it around. Now comes the fun part. We're going to take our ball of dough and we're going to knead it. So this is where you need that floured surface, whether it's a, um, a big cutting board, like, let's see if I have, I have one in here. Like this, you can flour this and do this, um, knead the dough on this, or your tabletop. I'm just going to do it on my tabletop. It's clean and, um, yeah, I like doing it on my tabletop. I'm going to put this back. <laughs> the racket. Okay, I'm going to spin my computer over here. I'm going to get my flour. Remember I told you not to put it too far away. And I'm going to put a little bit of flour right here on my tabletop. I'm just going to do it right here. Okay. Oh, I'm going to sprinkle some out here. You can see that. Okay. And I'm keeping my flour not too far away. I've left a little flour in a little measuring cup because I might need to put it on my hands if the dough is too sticky. Okay. Let's see if we can do this. All right, I'm going to talk you through it. All right, see how I have the flour out here? I'm going to kind of spread it around a little bit. Okay. Actually, maybe I'll leave some of that flour on my hands. I'm going to go into my bowl and I'm going to take that dough out of the bowl, getting it all off the spoon. So I have all of my shortcake dough right here. Okay. And I'm going to squish it. This is kind of fun. Okay. I'm going to squish it into a ball. Okay. All right. Now, see my ball? I'm going to put my ball down on that flour, and now I'm going to knead it. So I don't know if you remember when we did the, um, the twisters, we push it down, fold it over, push it again. And we're going to do that 20 times, okay? So here we go. Push it down. One, two, three. Then I kind of fold it over. Four. Five, fold it over again, six, seven, and again, eight, and again, nine. See how I'm doing that? Ten, eleven, twelve, and then I roll it over here, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. And I think I'm going to do it a couple more times. Twenty-one. 22, 23, 24, one more for good measure, 25. Okay, I think that's good. I'm going to pick it up, put it back into a nice ball, okay, and I'm going to spread out some more flour because now I need to roll it, a little bit more flour, because I, I, if I don't flour my surface, the dough might stick to the tabletop, and that won't be good. So here's my, my ball. I'm going to get my rolling pin. Okay. And I'm going to push down in the center. Okay. And I'm going to gently roll this into a big circle. Okay. And I might need to put a little flour on my rolling pin if it's sticking. Okay. And in order to get a circle, I'm going to keep moving my rolling pin, okay, like an X, a crisscross, okay, and that helps to kind of make an even circle. Now, we, we're not rolling this really thin, okay. Our shortcakes are kind of fat, so this should be no thinner than a half inch, Okay, between a half inch and maybe three quarters of an inch 
in thickness. Is, so we want this dough pretty thick, not too thin. Right. A little bit more, spread it out. There. All right. So if you can see how thick it is, okay, mine are about a half an inch. Okay. And if it looks too thin, you can kind of push it in a little bit. All right. Like that. Because mine was looking a little thin. And it should be the same thickness from the edge as it, and in the center should be as thick as it is on the edge. Okay, shouldn't be like a big thick blop in the center or a really skinny in the center. It should all be kind of the same thickness. Now, I'm gonna take my three inch cookie cutter or my glass jar and I'm gonna make little circles. Okay, so I have a cookie cutter that I'm gonna use, right? And I'm gonna try to get two in my my circle here. All right, I'm gonna push it down. Woo! And look at that. All right, isn't that great? And I'm gonna put this on my cookie sheet, ungreased cookie sheet. Doesn't need any grease. Get all that butter in there. Okay. So here's my cookie sheet. I'm just gonna put it down my cookie sheet. And I'm going to make another, another one of these. So I think I can get another one in the spot over here. Okay. Again, I'm going to push it down. Yeah. Another one fit. That's number two. Number two goes on my cookie sheet. And when you put it on your cookie sheet, you want to give them space because these are going to rise up and maybe spread out a little bit. Not a lot, but a little. So you want to give them space. I'll show you. See? They're neighbors. They're socially distant. <laughs> okay, so now I've got these little ends. Am I going to get rid of them? No. I'm going to squish them together, and I'm going to roll them out, and hopefully get a couple of more shortcakes out of that. I'm going to spread out a little bit more flour, right? I've got some around here just to make sure I don't stick. I'm squishing my ball here, okay? Put that down, my rolling pin. I'm going to flatten that out again, okay? Not too much, right? We don't want it too thin, all right? And I'm going to cut it. There's my third one. Put that on my cookie shin. Uh, cookie tin. And look at this. I think we can probably make another shortcake out of it. So I'm just going to squish it up. You might have to kind of really squeeze it to get it to all kind of stick together. All right. And we'll roll this. It's really getting small, isn't it? Look how small that looks. Okay, I'm going to try to roll it out. We might not need a cookie cutter for this one. Look at it. That little ball turned out to be a nice little shortcake, I think. Right? I don't think we need a cookie cutter. See, look at it. I think it's really just <laughs> perfect like that. So I'm going to take this one and put this one on my cookie sheet. So I have four of them ready to go in the oven. All right, so your oven should be at 450 degrees. It should be hot by now if you turned it on when we started, like I said, okay. Um, have an adult help you, put them in the hot oven, all right. And your cookie, the racks in your, your oven, I didn't mention that, but hopefully, since we've been doing this for a while, you remembered. We want our racks spaced out so that we, when we put our sheet in there, um, they have room. Okay, let's see if I have room in mine. I have a lot of room. <laughs> okay, I'm putting it in and closing the door. 
And we're going to set the timer for, let me double check. 10 to 12 minutes. Okay? So set your timer for 10 to 12 minutes. And I will see you back when our shortcakes are done. They should rise and a little a little golden, but they'll be pretty pretty white in color. Okay, but the a little golden around the base and the edge. Alright, I'll see you back in about 10 minutes. Hi kindergarten. Okay, I'm back. Um, I think my, oh, there goes my timer. <laughs> I was going to say, I think they smell ready. <laughs> Let's go take a look and see if they look ready. I have my pot holders. Oh, yes, very much so. You see them? In fact, they probably didn't need to get quite so brown, but they didn't burn, so that's good. And look how puffy they are. You see that? They oh there goes my dog. I think he <laughs> I think he might want some too. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna turn off my oven. Hopefully my dog will start barking. No, he doesn't seem to want to stop barking. I'm turning off my oven and um also someone's coming in. So we're gonna let these cool and then I will come back and show you how we put it all together to make our strawberry shortcakes. Hi, kindergarten. So are your shortcakes all cool? I hope so. Mine are. So I'm gonna show you how you assemble your strawberry shortcake. So I took one of my shortcakes, got it on a plate, okay, and I've got my strawberry knife, <laughs> okay, and I'm just going to cut this right in half, okay? Let's see if you can see this. All right, just like this. Okay, just right down the middle, sort of like an English muffin. All right, and, ooh, look at that. See that? Huh, that looks nice. Now, we're gonna put the strawberries on it. So, here are my strawberries. They've been sitting for, I don't know, maybe about an hour. I'm going to stir it up a little bit more just to make sure that all that juice looks pretty good, doesn't it? Mmm, smells good too. All right. And I'm going to use a ladle, all right? So it's like a spoon that has a big um, well in it for all that juice, okay? Oh. Here we go. Whoops. There we go. So, scoop some strawberries in there and then pour that in the center there. Now, I can put this sort of a little bit, my strawberry shortcake, and make the little lid there like that. Maybe put a little bit more juice and strawberry on that. Mm -hmm. Whipped cream. It said, Cool Whip ice cream, yogurt. I'm using spray cream because that's what I have in my house. Mm. I love spraying whipped, can, uh, whipped cream out of a can. Here we go. Mmm, doesn't that look good? And maybe I'll put a little bit more strawberry and juice on top of that. There we go. Get my fork ready. Hmm? What do you think? Let's see if I can pick it up. <sighs> Strawberry shortcake. <laughs> okay, it almost toppled. <laughs> well, I hope you had fun making this. I hope you have more fun eating it. <laughs> and I hope everyone in your family likes it. I think they're pretty good. Alrighty, so. Until next time, um, you have a great day, and um, make sure you clean up all of your mess that you made, right? or else I don't think your parents will let you back in the kitchen. All right, I'll see you later, kindergarten. Take care.